Some Twin Cities kids don't have to wait for Christmas. They are getting new toys every few weeks. A couple of years ago, a group of moms came up with a new concept. They established a toy library. And just like checking out books, parents and kids can check out toys, and then they return them after three weeks. John Lordson shows us how the concept has inspired other similar ideas. When Philip Stern and his two and a half year old son Theo are looking for new toys, loves trucks, loves garbage trucks, they don't go to a store. Instead, they head to the basement of the Richfield Lutheran Church. You know, I told Theo we're going to the toy library. He's like, oh, we're going to go, you know, go to the toy library and pick out new toys. And here, there are over 800 to choose from. I love that children can check out toys. They don't like them, they bring them back. Rebecca Nutter helped launch this concept with other Minneapolis moms. Last summer, they took donations and set up the library inside Rebecca's garage. Took a part of my garage, and that was the toy library right next to my husband's motorcycles. But as more toys rolled in and more families got involved, they moved to a more permanent spot. In some ways, it's like the land of misfit toys, where they find new homes every few weeks. Get to check out five, up to five toys at each event, and then they just bring them back three weeks later. That's perfect for parents like Ashley Hooker. And it keeps my house clean of a million toys. With a three-year-old and a 10-month-old, she's clutter conscious, but also eco-conscious, mindful that recycled toys don't end up in a landfill. We're a one-car family, and so we're really conscious of trying to not buy a lot of new things when we can share them with the community. It's a $20 yearly membership to join, and every family that checks out something is also given an eco-friendly cleaning solution. They're expected to clean the toys before they bring them back. Kind of makes sense there. And sure. They don't accept uh, stuffed animals, and the toys can't be broken when they come in. This concept is catching on in other ways, too. They actually have a Northeast Minneapolis tool library. So dads wow. and you know, power tools, hand love tools. That. I would love that too. My neighbor has every tool under the sun. So, so you just, he's, I don't, he's I can go next door. Library. Yeah, he's hardware yeah. Hank for me. But that's nice. The, they are great for those who don't have that, yeah. Well, that's and all cool. these are brilliant, but the price is right too. I mean, that's nice. It's twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for, for the year. Come back every three weeks and get something. And the new. kids seem to be okay with it. They get bored every three weeks. Bring yeah. in something. Yeah, new. for yeah. sure. All right. All right. Thanks, nice story. John. You bet.